video I want to make is on these uh, <clears throat> two calculators here. So this one is the Texas Instruments TI-30X2S. And right here is the uh, FX300ES ES Plus. Um, these are probably one of the most popular calculators, scientific ones these days. Um, Alright, so the first one's going to be a drop test of both of them. So on, and this one, so on. Basically, a little scuffs down there. Another crack on the lid, but. Yeah, the cable got disconnected when I threw it. Seems like the screws all freaking, I don't know, threw it pretty hard. This one, um, still works. All that happened on this one is that the whole frame just chipped forward. You guys can see there. That's an easy fix, it still turns on, which is good. Uh, during the test, this, um, this wire came off. We're going to be putting both of these guys underneath this Honda Civic. Alright, let's take a look at the damage. Okay, so both of them passed the test. Both of them are turned on still. Alright guys, for so for the Casio 300 ES Plus, um, the damage was okay, not too bad. You can still do some math. Alright guys, this is the TI. It did pretty well.
here is my mini stove. I'm on my phone right now. <clears throat> After that uh, oven test, oh my god, the smell and that plastic was so freaking bad. And then for the Texas Instruments, I don't know what the hell, but it caused so much smoke, I felt like fainting, so I ran out with my bike. Guys, I'm almost ready to go back. It's hit 11 o'clock. <laughs> with caution. Oh, I can smell it from out here. It's not so bad. Here's my abandoned camera. So what the hell happened? Okay, so the battery could have blown up for this one. That's all I know. I definitely missed the processor. Um, there goes my off button. My on button, I should say. Oh my god, it turned on. I say this, look at the damage on the Casio. Just look at that. Just, would you just look at that? And look at the damage on here, it's not too bad. Uh, the keyboard, who cares about that? I can just reset the battery. But, however, it does not turn on at all. The only thing damaged was that down there. So yeah, that's kind of amazing. See if it's hot enough. Yep, it's hot enough. Oh, that's one way. Ten seconds and nothing really happened. I dug around it, but nothing happened yet. Forty seconds and it turned off. And no, it didn't turn off. Still some pixels down there. It's kind of weird. They should work. But over time, it got brighter. Uh, basically. Alright guys, this, the next test for this indestructible Casio is the screen burn test. Guys, that was the uh, screen burn test for the Casio 300ES Plus. And the Casio passed the exam while the TI is just sitting there on top of the recycle bin, which is ridiculously amazing, but oh well.
guys, while it still turns on right there. So I guess the uh, Casio completely destroyed the Texas Instruments calculator. Time to finish off the Casio. Oh god. Alright, I think that's enough of the fire. Do this thing anymore? Here it is. See ya.